Hello everyone, my name is Chris Miller, the co-creator of the Chronicles of PA, along with Richard Gaskin. And I'm here today to give you guys another game vlog and talk about some more of the character designs for the enemies of the game. I'm going to start off with a dead warrior. And this is just a very basic character and this is once you get past those mercenaries that I showed you guys in the other level of the game. Now some of the enemies start getting a little bit stranger and that's just basically based on the location of this other level which is kind of in the the catacombs or the the underworld or the city of Naka. You got the sorceress and assassin Nasai has been messing around down there so she's kind of brought some things to life that shouldn't be brought to life down there and kind of done some of her demon incantations and some of the creatures that the the cult known as the chosen have kind of just unleashed under there so PA has to kind of get through that little catacomb area and here are some of the enemies that you're going to face and one of them is the dead soldier or the dead warrior and this is a character that at one time was uh a fighter and a warrior and a wrestler but died of course and now he's not getting any real rest because his body's been reanimated and been warped and kind of perverted to look monstrous so I didn't want you just your typical skeleton so that's why I kind of wanted to have him look a little bit different have him kind of hunched over had the extended jaw with the kind of fangs and his spinal bones are kind of protruding out almost like spikes trying to give him a different look and have him give him like you know very sharp hands to fight with and once you see the color version you're going to see that he has you know the glowing green eyes and the glowing within his mouth as well and that should be coming up momentarily see he's also wearing the rags that's his death shroud kind of shredded up because now he's moving was a warrior of honor but now he's a reanimated corpse coming to get PA very ugly very monstrous and of course you can't have ancient African ancient Egyptian ancient Nubian you can't have an ancient tomb in that area and not have a mummy type character and like I said before with the dead warrior I didn't want to just do your typical for the warrior, I didn't want you to do your typical skeleton, and for the the mummy, I didn't want to do your typical mummy. I could have gone the the Castlevania route, where just the mummy is walking with two arms extended, and just has all the wrappings are perfectly wrapped. This one, I kind of want to be a little bit different, and even though I'm keeping the animation simpler for this game, uh, the I didn't feel like the design had to be so, I guess, so linear. So this is, you know, this mummy, some of his wrappings are already coming off. You can kind of see some of his skin exposed. Uh, some of the wrappings are kind of bunching up in certain places. And his walk cycle is going to be a little bit different as well because he's, you know, he's a mummy. He's dead. His, his body is not all together. You know, he can't just walk straight. You know, like I said, the typical Castlevania. If you ever play Castlevania, see some of the sprites for their mummies. The mummy almost does kind of like a march. This one's going to kind of hobble and slide. So this will be kind of a slow-moving character, but he's going to be deadly in ways I don't want to give away. Uh, wait for you to actually experience the game to see that. But like I said, you see this? He doesn't just have his arms extended. He has one hand up. One hand is going to be kind of hanging and dangling. Uh, some of his wrappings are kind of dangling off of him. So like I said, just a little bit of a different design for the mummy here. Didn't want to do the same thing over that I've seen before. I got, like I said before, I did a lot of research when designing these sprites. I looked at a whole, like a plethora of games, especially a lot of side-scrolling games. And this is one of the things I, I came up with just to add on to the catacomb level underneath Naka but like I said I, I would see certain things and I you know I was like that's a good idea I can kind of use that but 
just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit and not do exactly the same thing. And here's his colored version coming up. Didn't want to do the typical white wrappings. So these are kind of like a dusty orangey, just kind of dirty down there. And you can see his skin start to decay a little bit, it's a little bit dark and washed out. And next we got the demon character. Now this is actually one of my favorite sprites to design because I just like the way the character looks. I wanted to go, I, I, I'm obsessed with the god Anpu, also known as Anubis in ancient Egyptian and ancient Nubian mythology. He's always known as kind of the guardian of the dead or the guardian of the, the underworld. So I kind of wanted to design a demon character that kind of looked like Anpu and or just a jackal type character. Like I said I've always been obsessed with that even when I was a child so I wanted to kind of add that in there just kind of add a layer of mythology to the Chronicles of PA and you know lend some more authenticity to the the mythology of that era that area of ancient Africa. So here we have a, uh, this is going to be one of the demon characters and it's I, I've done Doing a little bit of a cheat here, you know, just kind of have one. I, I don't mind change the other one a little bit more because right now they're just different colors. But you're gonna see it when you see the colored versions of the demon character. But in doing the redesign, like I said, I wanted to keep things a little bit simpler. So like before, the character was overly muscular, and that was gonna be a pain in the butt to try to animate frame by frame. So this one, you know, I kind of gave him more of a lanky look just to. Just to change up the sprite so it's not always, you know, super muscular characters or hunched over characters or just straight up walking characters. So just kind of give the sprites a different shape on the screen. Since you're going to be looking at something that's very small, the colors and the, the shapes of the different sprites should be unique. And just like I want you to be able to look at the silhouette of the sprite and be able to tell what it is and what it's doing. So, like I said, this, of course, this one is going to be very unique because since he has the ears, the long, lanky arms, the big hands, big type of feet, and, you know, the ears and stuff sticking up. So, this is a very unique sprite, and this one, he's going to have an axe, and the other one is going to have more of a, a sword. So, really, just like I said, different types of sprites giving, him, giving different types of looks. Uh, like you said, like I said before, when you see the color version in the moment you're gonna see that I kinda of did a cheat where I just changed the colors I might I might fix that a little bit just so the character doesn't look exactly the same maybe change his headdress to do or put something different on there so it's not exactly the same type of sprite you know like some of the animations definitely the walk animations will be exactly the same but just trying to give variety guys and just be a little bit different without being over the top and overburdening the programmer so yeah, here's the demon character in color. You can see, like I said, you can see he's having he's holding an axe there. Chop you down. You're gonna be seeing a different version in a moment. There you go. This one has a sword, and he has it in the other hand. Like I said, stab you, chop you down. So PA is gonna have his hands full with these guys. And next, I didn't get a chance to record the drawing part of this character, but this is just something unique I thought of, like maybe the great scientist M. Hotep built like these little mechanical diggers made out of pulleys and some metal just to dig holes in underground so that that way you can that's how they built the underworld and catacombs and stuff like that by M Hotel building these diggers so that could be an enemy as well and that's it for this section and you guys will be seeing more character designs very soon thank you guys for coming out to Onyx Con the ones that I saw out there and got your autographed copy of the Chronicles of EA graphic novel I appreciate seeing you guys. Love seeing the fans. Chris Miller, signing out. Be back in a bit. Peace.